What's up techies? Cam here from Code of Korea. What I wanted to do today was to show you the easiest ways to learn to code for free online in 2021. Even if you're watching slightly beyond 2021, uh, hello from the past, what I wanted to show you was the power of how many free resources there are and a lot of people that have given up their time to try and give back to this really great community and show you how you can actually go and land a job in code without ever actually paying anything at all, just merely using your internet connection. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first example I wanted to show was here. This is Free Code Camp. Uh, this is their editor. This is their landing page here. They have a ton of resources and literally, as it says on the tin, it's a free code camp. There are a lot of code boot camps up that are out there that can be up to 20,000 US dollars, I've even heard. Typically here in the UK, they can be anything from 15, uh, 1,500 pounds up to maybe seven or 8,000 pounds. So you're looking at roughly 1.5 times that for US dollars, depending on the exchange rate, of course. So this is a very good alternative considering how wide their curriculum is. You can see all of the ver uh, all of the verified certifications you can get here. Back when I studied using Free Code Camp, that we actually only had a few of these. So it's fantastic to see the extra uh, work that's gone into their curriculum. It's very simple to use. You don't even actually need an account. I always thought you did, but I managed to start on the editor today without using an account. It literally explains on the left-hand side what they want you to do, and it explains it very step-by-step. Step. This is kid-friendly. Uh, as long as you're sort of secondary school age or older, you, you shouldn't struggle with this at all uh, because it, it's very laid out, and if you do it in the right order, I would always recommend starting with the HTML. That's the closest to plain English. So if you go through there, you can see here, to pass the test on challenge, I would need to change the H1 element. We can see the H1 element here. Here's my output on the right-hand side. Just need to change that to say, hello world. And that is as simple as it goes. So literally, I just do that, run the test, it's complete. So as you can see, super simple. Obviously, they're not all as easy as that. I just wanted to give you a very representative uh, kind of example of, of how it works in, in Free Code Camp. This is the first of what I would call kind of the online editor style of learning uh, that, that you'll come across in this video. So Free Code Camp first off, and up next is Code Academy. Okay, so next up we have Code Academy. So Code Academy has two tiers. It's got like the it's kind of a freemium model. So you have the premium tier, which last time I checked was around 17 to 20 uh, US dollars. Let's see if that's changed changed now. So uh, for me, it's 16 pounds a month. So I, I guess that comes out roughly 20 US dollars. So uh, it'll be similar price in euros as well. It's a similar approach to free code camp really, uh, but they do have a wider variety of languages that they cover. So this is a whole other video in and of itself. I would recommend just doing JavaScript and Python after you've tackled uh, HTML and CSS, uh, regardless of what kind of job uh, you're going for. But you can see all the different languages they have here. Many of these courses are free, so you won't need to pay anything to, to do them on there. In terms of how the editor works, it's very similar to how the editor works on uh, on free code camp so in terms of like the editor with code academy you need an account to show it so I, I won't show it at the moment but it's very similar to free code camp the only difference i really think is that code academy's kind of color scheme is much nicer uh almost sounds silly me saying this but i think the dark mode is quite nice so i would if you're really fussy about that i'd recommend that so i would still i lean towards free code camp personally but i know a lot of people that use code academy and do like it uh, so it, it's kind of six of six of one, half a dozen of the other. They are very similar products. They're great. They work very well. So you'll definitely have a good experience using these, and you don't have to pay anything for a lot of the content on Code Academy. You don't have to pay for anything at all on Free Code Camp, which is absolutely fantastic. But if you do use Free Code Camp, as I mentioned before, uh, just try and make sure you donate to them if you can afford it because it costs a lot of money to run those servers and it's it's a great thing to do to give back, especially once you've already got a job in code as well. So they accept donations and all kinds of currencies and cryptocurrencies. So I would uh, definitely recommend doing that. And my third resource for online editor style of learning is Kadiri. I'm actually quite biased towards Kadiri because they, use, they used to run an on-site React bootcamp uh, here in London, which is where I live at the moment. And I attended it and absolutely loved it. The instructors were great. People were really friendly and, and hardworking. Uh, so they it, it's very gamified, their platform here. We did a lot of learning via the platform. 
there's leaderboards and and that sort of thing so you can see how you see how people are doing compete against your friends hall of fame i used to be on here i think because it's been a couple of years since i do the boot camp uh i have been booted off unceremoniously uh the uh the, the hall of fame sadly but there's a lot of amazing resources on here because there's also job prep as well they run regular challenges, which I really recommend. It's it's really enjoyable. You can learn a lot from there and learn a lot of how different people will go and solve different problems. So it's, it's a really, really good system. So this is actually why Kadiri is my favorite, these online editor ones, because this is how it works. You get your instructions on the left-hand side. There's a helping video here. But what's actually going on in the background is that they're testing you on how long it takes you to solve it, how accurate you are, uh, as well as like your eloquency. So if if you're if you're doing it to correct JavaScript conventions, so if I do this, I've got to make sure that my code is looking clean. So uh, I hope this passes because it is a very I am a full-time JavaScript developer. Um, so as you can see, but even then, I didn't put a semicolon. So. You know, even if you're a full-time developer, sometimes you miss these things. So this is why it's great because it does keep you in check. I use a linter in VS Code. That's my excuse. But uh, <laughs> you go through all of these and it will assign you a, a score and that score will go on the leaderboard and you can comp compare it against your uh, against your friends. So this is a great way to, if especially if you've got a competitive streak, to really level up your skills in JavaScript quickly. They have... JavaScript is the main focus uh, with React as well, of course, but they also do Python, a uh, bit of Java, and uh, Vue.js as well. So again, Kadiri is totally free. Uh, there's no charge for it at all. So it's a really fantastic resource. And shout out to Ricardo uh, who made it as well because uh, he is a great guy and gives a lot back to the JavaScript community. So this resource here is a little bit different. It's called Scratch, and I wanted to include this because First off, there's a lot of people that have never touched a line of code in their life and they might be a little bit nervous to give it a try and want to understand the logic pieces behind it. But there's also as well, you know, a lot of kids that want to learn how to code that are really curious and it's a great way to introduce your children how to uh, in, 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 into coding. Uh, my mother is a primary school teacher, so she teaches kids that are between like seven and eight years old, I think, and she's got them going with Scratch and they absolutely love it. So it's, it's a great way to learn the fundamentals. So this here is a Scratch project that somebody made. It's, it's a curling game. So obviously this isn't actually written with code itself. It's all written in little blocks, which is really accessible for kids. And games are a big reason why a lot of kids want to program. I, I understand things like Minecraft and Roblox are real motivators behind that. And being able to create your own fun little games like this, which I'm currently not doing very well at, uh, <laughs> are a kind of excellent way to build those logic skills and it can do things like make maths and logic a lot more fun and really set your set kids off on the right steps so yeah scratch isn't you know scratch isn't going to get you a job because no one's like making actual commercial software using scratch but it's a great way if you're very unfamiliar with how code works and you want you want to kind of unlock that feeling in your brain uh, Scratch is a great way to do it and it's the first thing if I had a kid that wanted to learn it's the first thing I would introduce them to. So for the rest of this video I'm going to look at more traditional courses like A to Z courses uh, and a great provider of that is edX. I did a course on here from Harvard University. I can say I studied at Harvard now uh, <laughs> um, and it there are some excellent computer science courses here so it, hopefully it's still up CS50 I would imagine it is. You can see here exactly uh, there are, here it is, CS50, Introduction to Computer Science. There are lots of computer science courses on edX and they can go very, very, very specific as well. This is the one that I would recommend. It's a really, really good resource and it teaches you everything. Starts off at scratch, goes to C. So if you know much about programming, that's going zero to 100 incredibly quick. Uh, but it is it is really good. You touch a lot of areas and it gives you that fundamental computer science knowledge that is quite helpful. I'm actually thinking about doing a refresher of this at some point, uh, particularly for the C. Now that I'm commercially experienced, I would be curious to give it another go because I, I did find the C quite tough. I would definitely say this is more uh, geared towards, as you might imagine, university 
age people uh, and older it, it, it will be tough if you're getting your kids to do it uh, so I, I would say definitely try and give this a go don't be too intimidated make sure you put the hours in because it, it is tricky uh, especially the C module but the instructor is fantastic and I highly recommend it and of course it's free uh, I think you may have to pay for a certificate if you if you want to yeah you can see here it's 141 pounds but I didn't bother with that personally uh, I just went for free the great part is as well they mark it for you as well so you can be you, you can verify that your work was correct so if you like that structure behind that's a really good way of doing it another one is Coursera as well uh, I think I pronounced it correctly there but you can see all of these universities and organizations that offer these courses and a lot of them are free so if I just input JavaScript you can see uh, that there's all kinds of of options here so uh, you can see one from University of California John Hopkins uh, Hopkins sorry uh, Hong Kong uh, University of Science and Technology uh, this looks like a great one for instance you know learning about learning about react and mobile apps so I would definitely recommend Coursera you can check out the ratings uh, but, but again a lot of these are free as well so I really recommend those especially if you prefer a kind of more structured learning environment a lot of them will kind of go week by week as it as if I would actually highly recommend you use either edX or Coursera at some point in your learning to code journey because a lot of organizations a bit more traditional really do value an institution's accreditation alongside your qualification so if you're applying somewhere more traditional then it's very it's, it's very strongly looked upon so I would definitely recommend maybe using these in combination with one of your uh, one of your online editor ones that would be a good way of doing it and it's always nice to have kind of two resources don't try and learn too many different things at once but learning the same thing from two different resources can be a nice way of doing it and helping you kind of really strengthen your fundamentals and understand concepts more deeply so I would recommend doing that finally we are literally just searching coding tutorial on YouTube and there is a reason why I've kept it so vague I've put a couple of filters here ones from this year because you want something that's quite up to date and over 20 minutes you can see all these people that have taken the time out to create these excellent coding tutorials and you can see there's a huge variety of different levels and different languages that you can work on and uh, you, you can see that there's a wide variety of creators here you can see free, free code camp have excellent uh, tutorials on here I would highly recommend but you can see all of all of these I'll put some of my favorite ones in the link in this description uh, just because I want to show show you all what I've used and what I recommend but there, there's a ton of amazing um, creators uh, on, on the YouTube platform a lot of them don't even monetize their videos I know free CoCamp often don't so there's no ads at all throughout the whole thing so definitely use YouTube to your advantage uh, if, if you have YouTube Premium, um, I do, and it, it's, it's brilliant because you can go through these sort of five or six hour courses uninterrupted uh, and you can uh, support a creator as well that way. So I'd recommend that. Obviously as well, you know where to come if you're looking for non-technical career advice. Uh, you can come to Code a Career. And speaking of that, my channel is, my videos and, and channel are always open to comments uh, or questions just about careers. Uh, and if you want to me to answer any kind of specific question then just drop it in the comments because there's been I've had a couple of comments about about videos that I can, I can work on and they're definitely in the pipeline about interviews and that sort of thing so if you do think of any kind of dark spot you can't um, that you don't think is covered yet then please just let me know and I will work on it and do my best to present it but until then thanks very much for tuning in subscribe if you enjoyed this and let me know if there are any videos you want me to work on in the future thanks.